I'm not really sure how we're going to do it. Maybe we should just talk about it more and more every day. I, I get it, man. I get it. You're going back to a place of business. You don't feel right being there because there's other people there. We're not used to that. We're used to being at home, remote working. Uh, the same thing with students. We're not, we're not used to having these large groups of people around us, and they've got these things over their faces, and some people have mandated it. Some people haven't. This is no political place, but I, I get it. And, and, and you go into that place of business, and your boss man is back to, you got to do this. You got to do that. And it's like, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I guess I'm not the same person anymore. I get it. I get it. But we've got to change your mindset into taking your product that you create and taking a look at the person who buys your product. This is not about walking into a building with four walls. This is about delivering a product and seeing how that product will work out here for other people. Think beyond your paycheck. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Am I the only one who has no idea what day it is on the calendar? That right there deserves a sip of coffee. Hold on one sec. Oh, man, that's good coffee. Mm. As long as I have coffee in the day, I'm okay. But really, am I the only one who really, I look at the calendar and I'm like, I'm like what? No. No, I don't trust it. It's like a politician. I don't trust it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I tried to use boredom as a way to slow down the hands of time, and and even that isn't working. I go on these long walks with my dog Jazzy, my beautiful little girl, and and I know that it's going to take a long time because it's it's in miles. It's not in blocks. It's in miles. And when when I get home, it's it's like wow, where'd the time go? And even when I go to my to my essential job, because I decided I needed one in September of 2020 because I wanted to be with people. So I, I went and got an essential job out there on the front line. And they say, you're going to put in 10 and a half hours today. OK. And, and most people would go, I'm not putting in 10 and a half hours. No way. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm OK, because I know that in the blink of an eye, those 10 and a half hours are going to be over. And, and it's like we got to get a grip on this thing called time and try to figure out how to put it in its place because right now it's running us it really is running us and those that are out of control with their words and their actions and decisions are allowing time to be that reason that fuel for their answers and and for what it is that they're doing to the rest of us decision makers huh (laughs) you be the decision maker you be in control of your life get it going otherwise somebody's gonna do it for you it's it's like it's like my mantra share your story or someone will write it for you hey it's arrow this is the daily mess a chronological walk through an everyday world i am a daily writer i allow the universe to move through through me it's called stream thinking it's 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 allowing what is in your present place of now being mindful and grateful of now and really listening to everything that's going on beside you if you could be in the studio with me right now what my eyes are seeing while i'm sharing words with you is this beautiful forest in south charlotte north carolina there's already been two deer that have walked by the studio window I, it's 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 the presence of now the squirrels will be jumping because we're actually like almost three stories up so the trees we're almost at the top of the trees and, and this is our house and so when i when i walk outside onto the forest floor it's like it's 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 a presence it's there's love there's something out there that, and that's the stuff that you allow to move through you and i invite you i invite you to find something such a place. This is the daily mess. As much as I talk about living in the presence of now, I'm exactly the opposite when it comes to planning. Now, as a podcaster, I am booked with conversations three to four weeks deep. I know who I'm going to be talking to already in November of 2021, and it's and it's it's October. I, I, because I plan. I got in order for me to enjoy being in the presence of now, I've got to be able to plan for that next now. So as a podcaster, I've got to be ready. Our only days away from the nine to five job, my wife and I lay out the expectations so that we aren't startled by the stress of having to catch up. I do live in a life of being in the presence of now. But the only reason why I'm able to do that is because I prepare for it. We're able to look out across the openness and know exactly what needs to be accomplished. When the day arrives, it becomes our now. 
This was a very difficult life to live when I was in terrestrial radio. Because when you're in terrestrial radio, every day is about change. It doesn't matter what your plans were. You have no questions. You only can deliver solutions. No voice could be heard if the decision maker's choice took you away from everything that was your now. That's what money does to people. When it's the only thing you think about, the idea of being present is poison to assumed accomplishment. (laughs) you know i gotta say that again i got to i have to i have to when the decision maker's choice is to take you away from all that is your now that's what money does to people when it's the only thing you think about the idea of being present is poison to assumed accomplishment how many people do you know that believe in reaching the victory, that believe in getting across that goal line, that believe that we can do this as a team, that can do this and this, but in order to do this, you've got to do this, but I I was doing this. It doesn't matter. This is my team. You need to do this to make it happen because it's all about flow, cash flow. I had an operation manager tell me that exactly that way. It's about flow, cash flow. Don't be a rock in the middle of a stream because right now you are and I have the ability to remove you from this stream. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. The idea of being present is poison to assumed accomplishment. Always remember that you have a choice. If you're put in a position of discomfort because you believe that other people's choices are in your way, they are the stones in the stream... Understand that through your choice, your presence of now, you're already the deliverer, the message maker. You're the one that has the accomplishment that needs to be done. But if you're going to poison it by putting money thoughts in your head at all times, that's not the walk. That's not the way. Take a stroll through a forest, through a park, maybe on a city street, and just listen to the atmosphere Of what is now. And what you're never going to hear. Is cha-ching. Never. Now who's going to put that thought in your head? You are. Because that's the power of choice. But if you remove cha-ching. From your thinking process. Then you're not going to be poisoned. You're not going to have assumed accomplishment. You're going to have personal accomplishment. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.